Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at one of the most powerful but underused menus in the menu bar. Now on the right side of the menu bar for just about every application, including the Finder, is the Help menu. Now this does more than just bring up documentation. Let's take a look. So for instance, here we are in the Finder and here's the Help menu. We click on that, it comes up very simply with just an entry for Mac help and this search area. Now the search area is the powerful part. Say if you can't quite remember where a menu command is, all you have to do is go to help and start typing it here. So as I start to type arrange, I can see all the different menu items that have these characters in it. And actually as I mouse over them, it will show me exactly where they are. And in fact, I can go ahead and simply select it right here from the help. I don't even have to go over here, although I can if I want to. Now that might not seem too useful. I mean, after all, how hard is it to look through some menus like this one in text edit and simply find what you want? But sometimes what you want is deep down inside of a sub menu and help search will get it for you even if it is there. So let's look for color and you can see that the colors is deep down here inside of the format menu under font. So it's a lot easier to find it sometimes there than it is to actually search for it in the menus. Now, of course, it does more than just show you menu items. It also brings up help topics and that can bring up the special window for showing help in various applications. Once you're in this, you can continue to search for different topics in here and it acts kind of like web pages where you can click on links to jump to different help topics inside of the documentation for an application. Now here's a trick for you. You can use the keyboard and by pressing command, shift, and the slash or question mark key and it will instantly go to help and bring up the search box. And you can then type in what you want and even use the arrow keys to go up and down between them. So you can actually use this help menu to navigate all your menus with just a few clicks and activate any menu command. Now the bigger the application, the more powerful the help menu becomes. For instance, there are several different subsections here for iTunes help that you can jump to. And of course, there are a lot of different menus in iTunes. So being able to simply type something is sometimes a lot easier than finding that exact menu command. So in Safari, you can even use help to see what installed plugins you have. It's useful for telling, say, what version of Flip for Mac or Flash that you have currently installed. You'll even find web links in help sometimes, like for instance, for iMovie, you can jump to video tutorials, which is a part of the Apple website. So there's a quick look at the underused and certainly underappreciated help menu in Mac OS X. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now.